Las Vegas shooting near Mandalay Bay Casino kills 50 Las Vegas. The gunman on a high floor of a Las Vegas hotel rained a rapid fire barrage on a huge outdoor concert festival on Sunday night, killing more than 50 people, injuring hundreds of others, and sending thousands of terrified survivors fleeing for cover in one of the deadliest mass shootings in American history. Online video of the attack near the Mandalay Bay Resort and Casino showed the singer Jason Aldean performing outside at the Route 91 Harvest Festival, the three-day country music event, interrupted by the sound of automatic gunfire. The music stopped, and as victims fell, bleeding, concert goers screamed, ducked for cover, or ran. Get down, one shouted. Stay down, screamed another. Currently the Clark County Fire Department is estimating the injuries to be well over 400 Sheriff Joseph Lombardo of the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department said on Monday morning. One of those killed was an off-duty Las Vegas police officer, the department said. He said there were about 22,000 people at the concert. SWAT units swarmed the upper floors of the Mandalay Bay, closing in on the source of the shooting, a 32nd floor room where they found the gunman, with in excess of 10 rifles the sheriff said. We believe the individual killed himself prior to our entry. The first reports of the shooting came at 10.08 p.m. local time, and officers overheard on police radio reported being pinned down by gunfire. Shortly before midnight the Las Vegas police reported that one suspect is down, and soon after the police said they did not believe there were any more active gunmen. The sheriff identified the gunman as Stephen Paddock, 64, of Mesquite, Nevada who had no significant prior criminal history. Before dawn on Monday, Mr. Lombardo said the police were executing a search warrant on Mr. Paddock's home, adding, We're going to clear the residence first for any possible explosive. So the A security consulting firm in New York that tracks militant websites, said that he had seen no information yet on whether the suspect acted out of political motivation or grievance, or something else. President Trump issued a statement on Twitter on Monday extending sympathies to the victims and their families, and was scheduled to address the nation at 10.30 a.m. Eastern Time. Video of the shooting captured nine seconds of rapid fire, continuous bursts followed by 37 seconds of silence from the weapon amid panic screaming. The barrage of gunfire then erupted again in at least two more rounds, both shorter than the first. In the confusion after the shooting, the police also descended on the Arley Bobby restaurant, about a 10-minute drive from the Mandalay Bay, and they also investigated reports of a shooting at the New York New York Hotel and Casino, not far from the concert ground. The police reported clearing out the Mandalay Bay's 29th floor and working their way up to the 32nd floor. The police Twitter post described reports of an active shooter near or around the Mandalay Bay Casino. Video from the shooting showed Mr. Aldean, the final performer of the night, running off the stage as the gunfire erupted. Jake Owen, a country singer who was on stage with Mr. Aldean when the shooting began, told CNN on Monday that it was like shooting fish in a barrel from where he was concert goers described hearing round after round of gunfire. Everyone was running, you could see people getting shot, Gail Davis, one of the witnesses, said. I've never been that scared in my life, she added. To have this happen, I can't wrap my mind around it. It just kept coming, one of the witnesses, Robin Webb, told the Las Vegas Review Journal. It was relentless. Hay said they saw about 20 people bleeding in the street. That's when we knew for sure it was real, said her companion, Matt Webb. The photo posted by a review journal photographer showed emergency responders transporting one injured person in a wheelbarrow. As survivors poured into surrounding streets and buildings, and the police and paramedics streamed into the scene, unsure how many gunmen there were, the massacre shut down roads and highways. The police reported closing off about a mile of Las Vegas Boulevard and asked the public to steer clear of the area. Hours later, much of the city remained at shutdown. McCarran International Airport in Las Vegas said that some flights destined for the airport were diverted because of police activity. The airport is just east of the Mandalay Hotel, 
and after the shooting there were reports of people fleeing the concert by running onto an airport runway. The hotel itself was placed on virtual lockdown after the shooting, guests said. We went into the hotel and they started shutting down casinos, Todd Price, the guest of Mandalay Bay, told CNN. We tried to get into our rooms, and they shut down the elevators and started to get everybody out. The Route 91 Harvest Festival bills itself as three days of country music on the Vegas Strip, and Sunday night's performance was the last of the festival. The site of the concert, the Las Vegas Village and Festival Grounds, run by MGM Resorts, sprawls over 15 acres and has a capacity of 40,000 people. The festival's website said this year's three-day concert was sold out. In the first hours after the shooting, the police searched for a woman described as a companion of the gunman, Mary Lou Danley. Later, the sheriff said she had been located out of the country, and apparently was not with Mr. Paddock when he checked into the hotel, but that he was utilizing some of her identification.